point the crank to the 4 o'clock position to place the tallest part of the oval chainring at the 12 o'clock position and nearest to the lower edge of the front derailleur plates. Slide your front derailleur down in the braze onto the lowest possible position, leaving around a 5mm gap between derailleur plates and the tip of the chainring teeth. To avoid chain rub, the front derailleur cage plates must be positioned parallel to the chainring or slightly inwards towards the frame, never outwards. When on the largest rear sprocket and on the inner front chainring, you're looking for zero rubbing between the front derailleur and the chain. Fully loosen the derailleur bolt marked L with a 2mm Allen key to make the required adjustment. You're aiming to allow the inner plate of the front derailleur to just clear the inner edge of the chain. Very small adjustments can make a big difference to tuning and smooth operation of your front derailleur. So precision is key. If rubbing persists, you can reduce cable tension or adjust the overall position of the front derailleur. When the chain is on the smallest rear sprocket and on the outer chain ring, you're again looking for a precise 2mm gap between the outer edge of the chain and the front derailleur's outer plate. The measurement is critical to fast, accurate front shifting with zero chain dropping. Small adjustments make a big difference. Use the 2mm Allen key as a handy guide. Once you have front derailleur at the correct height and properly lined up, the shifting is fast, precise and smooth. Try an oval and never look back. Absolute Black.